Bag fuel, baby. I wanna. I had sent that topic in about um the Rock Nation thing. You wanna? I didn't see that. Remember, you said that's a that's a move right there. Hold on. What's the Rock Nation move? Um, you sent it to Bag Fuel or you sent it to me? <laughs> okay, my back. I do know better. I ain't go for it. You said Rock Nation. Oh, about the accused stealing songs. I, okay, we could talk about that, but I don't understand what he's saying. I read the article. You think it's a real article? I'm not sure. Sometimes them shits be flaky. The articles. lawsuit is funny because I, I thought the same thing too. He did the he did the work. I don't I don't know about this. What, what? see when the, they put Rock the, Nation because when they put Rock Nation in it, they just using that as a name to sell the headline and to get more money. If you just say because they lame, they named Lenny S in the yeah. They named Lenny. I saw it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you use a big name like that because that's how you're going to garner money, not attention. So you don't want to just sue Glorilla. If Glorilla's with Rock Nation, I'm suing Glo Rock Nation, Glorilla, the label. I'm suing everybody. But Rock Nation got the big name. Got you. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I would have to, I, I, I don't know. Also, 50 Cent, Fat Joe, uh, Scott Storch are being sued over Candy Shop. What? Yeah. Really? So we talking about publishing lawsuits today. Yeah. That's a copyright. So it's, it's sampling. Yeah, copyright infringement. Same, same. Oh, speaking of sampling, let's start off with this. You saw what Timberland just did, right? What did he do? He um used AI generated Biggie vocals. To I create, saw it. Yeah. So I, I told you this is gonna start happening. You still gotta make money. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, real, it's real. It's real. I mean, it's really cute and creative. But you still gotta. How are you gonna make money off of that? What would you? What, what would be the roadblock not to make money? Uh, Biggie's voice is dead, and you gotta get the rights to even use his voice, and it's somebody else's lyrics. So now you're basically sampling the person's lyrics for somebody else's voice. So if you're putting Biggie on Little Wayne tracks, on on the Little Wayne lyric, right? I'm gonna give you an example of of, of people living. If I put a song out. Right now, mm -hmm. with the beat and everything, and you come and do the song right after me again, you gotta pay me. Is it? It's my lyrics. Look, part of my ignorance, right? Mm -hmm. Is that really using Biggie's voice? If you no no no, think about it. It's a computer that's using ones and zeros to give a replication of what is supposedly his voice. Kind of like remember when Shine people was marketing him as Biggie. So he, he sounded sound like Biggie. And they had another fat dude that sounded like yeah. Biggie that Proz Gorilla had. Black. Yeah, Gorilla. Is that, yeah, Gorilla is, that a, is that a loophole? How the fuck you remember Gorilla Black's name? That was during my time. Okay, yeah. go ahead. That I'm was so, is it, is like that a time. Because, you know, you once said contract. And Queen Child the Queen's Flip, we tried to get him on the interview. Okay. You, you once said contracts are meant to be broken. Lawyers work hard to find loopholes. Yes. This is technically not. Biggie's voice is mm -hmm. just a replication of ones and zeros, okay. whatever terminologies, because I was on Pooh in Space, mm -hmm. and Space Ghost had gave an example about New Jersey, and I said that's trafficking, just based on the letter of the law. So with your expertise, do you think there's a loophole to where it can be like, that ain't really Biggie? Okay, whose song is it, who it going to be? If it's Timberland's song, mm -hmm. okay, somebody already made the beat. Yeah, Timberland. The beat, uh, no, did Timberland make the record on what? What? What Little Wayne record did they sample? Did Timberland make the beat? Are you sure? No, it, it, I saw the story. It was Timberland. He he used the. He just did. That just came out like literally. Yeah, I know that, but but did he make the beat? It's a little. It's, it's, it's a Timberland beat, and he put. Okay, it's a Timberland beat. A Biggie AI vocal on. Okay, so Timberland beat for Little Wayne, technically. It's, it's not for no. It's just a beat. It's, he just made it's he just, a, original he just came song. Up with it. Okay, it's an yeah. original beat. Original yeah. Biggie record with AI Biggie with his beat. And and nobody and nobody wrote the song but the computer. Just the computer it. right here. It says watch I the full uh -huh. video for a preview. Timberland previews a new track he cooked up using AI generated Biggie vocals. There you go, Biggie vocals. Yeah, but it's AI generated. It ain't really his voice. It's just a replication. See, I don't think... Listen to what I'm saying. No, no, no. I don't know who wrote it. But, but it's his voice. It's his voice. Is it? 
Yes, bro. Yes, really? because even when you and use it, the biggest I don't, lawsuit I don't disagree right now with, is with the you. Ed Sheeran Marvin Gaye shit. Yeah, they said he's he might he said he retire if he loses the lawsuit. He want to retire anyway. He just that's a oh, he's, he's a just weirdo. Probably, he's talking about Ed Sheeran. Yeah, he's a weirdo. He wants the reason he's. He, this is helping keep him in the in the, the irrelevant. No, they marketing and promo. I know that, but even still, like it's still gonna keep him. He's with the smoke. He's yeah. been with the smoke with everything. <laughs> Come on, don't don't He's act losing like losing the smoke. Okay, you you're gonna lose yes. some battles when yes. you with the smoke. Yes. Hundred million dollar battle. Yo, yes. bro, Fuck bro, yes. you playing too many games. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes shit is too big you for your britches. You play too many games. Yo, niggas be with the smoke, with the smoke, with the smoke. But when the smoke give you cancer, now you like, have you ever been I'm not going to smoke. Have you ever been to a publishing lawsuit like, or some shit like that? Yeah, I've been to a publishing lawsuit. Hell yeah. Um, Rock, when Rock Wilder did Dirty for Christina Aguilera. Yeah. But it wasn't on the other people's end. It was on Christina saying, I ain't biting that fucking sample. But think about <laughs> this. Wait, wait, so the remix you're talking about. Nah, when she did create rock no, wild, let's get dirty with with red man. Yes, we, he sampled. No, no, no. You no, 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 said he sampled. Question. Let him break it down. Like, yeah, let, I want to hear this because yeah. rock wild just sampled my fault the record and got red man on the record, mm. right? Yeah. And made it a big single. It was a single. Yeah, I remember that. Aguilera dirty, right? Mm-hmm. The sing, the sample had to be paid for. Yeah. So when the paperwork comes down. Mm. Rock was like, I'm not trying to pay for the whole sample because Christina accepted the sample. So she had to pay. Nah, she said, I'm not paying for that shit neither. Okay. Oh, okay. shit. So, so it, it remains. Goes, wait, wait, wait. So it goes into publishing. No, it remained in limbo. So it's, yeah, it's a confusion. So nobody gets money. Okay, let me tell you what the ramifications are. Let me tell you what the ramifications are of this one little that's, record. That's, that's, that's what it nobody could collect publishing royalties or recording royalties at all on the whole album. You just got a free on song out album? there. Nobody. In yeah. order to collect your publishing and royalties from an album, all the records that's on the album have to be signed off on and agreed upon. I'm going to give you another example, which I have a hand in this. Jumping, Jumping by Beyonce, Sick. Destiny's Child. My man Jovan did the record. Jovan did it with Chad. Right? Javon mm-hmm. did it. He was under Chad. Pause. Mm-hmm. Gave the beat to Chad. Chad sells Jumpin' Jumpin'. When the credits opened up, I don't know if Javon's name wasn't on it, but his splits wasn't correct. So Javon never signed off on Jumpin' Jumpin', nigga. So for all of these years, Beyonce, I'm the reason why you sampled Jumpin' Jumpin' again and collected your royalties. Mm-hmm. Because Javon came to me 10 years later Real shit, Bob Celestin helped solve the problem. He was like, yo, I never got paid. I never got my publishing rights. I never did nothing for Jumpin' Jumpin', but they tried to send me a $10,000 check. That's what Chad tried to do to him. If he would have accepted the check and cast the check, all his rights would have went away. He never cast a $10,000 check, and he needed the money. He waited for years and years and years, and finally he said, he called me by my real name, he said, Randy, this isn't getting solved, and I need your help. I looked at the paperwork and said, yo, this is what's going on. I said, and then somebody, a little birdie said, that's why Beyonce doesn't perform Jumpin' Jumpin'. If y'all pay attention, maybe she added it into her thing now. She did later. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Maybe she added it back into her collection like Mm -hmm. to do at a concert. But when you went to concerts, y'all never got to hear Jumpin' Jumpin' because she was fucking pissed, I heard, about why y'all not signed off on this record and then nobody can get their royalties? So her punishment was like, I'm never perform, never pushing that record. Ever. Until it gets signed off on. Now it got signed off on years ago now. I've been collecting publishing royalties on it for maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, Javon, maybe five, six, seven years now. You know what I'm saying? I get every every six months, I get money from um jumping, jumping. So Javon calls me last year and says, Yo, did you look at the Beyonce album? I said, nah, I said, because I ain't got no records up there. You know, it's a chick album. I didn't mm-hmm. go through the credits. You know what I'm saying? I said, I'll get to it when I get to it. He said, nah, look at the credits. He said, she sampled Jumpin' Jumpin'. We got another check coming. <laughs> so she could have been sampled and she could have been used. I, th- I, I thought the check was coming this eight, this this oh, this, yeah. this pay period because we was looking for a seat. You didn't know because yeah. Heineken knew if I got the check, oh, I was, it's up. I, I was taking us all on a vacation, like getaway. We going to Colombia and all that. Yeah. So when I got the money, I said, "Yo, the shit still ain't come." 
if nobody signed off, if they didn't get all the signatures on the record, we'll move on. I don't know when I'm going to get my royalty. Mm. That's the danger of the one record. That's why people say, I want to rock with this producer, and I'm going to let him do the whole, whole album. album. Or I'm going to let him do eight records and let him get the other producers because they're all in cahoots together, and they're not going to fight. So when we put the album out, we all could collect our publishing and, and royalties. Yeah. Dangerous. So publishing is a big deal. So that's why I, mm -hmm. I, I, I go back to vocals. you and say, I don't know how they're going to figure this out. Who owns his voice? But here's technically, the, here's the thing, right? Because it's not his voice. See, that's the loophole with technology. The you know the computer language ones and zeros. Okay. They're gonna say because it's ones and zeros, that's the written it's code. It's still a sample. A sample of where his, though? He's, it's, a, it's a sample of of a work. That's the that's the fight that the painters are having now with AI because people could go, give me. Uh, landscape of New York like Van Gogh. Yes. And it and it presents it. But Van Gogh's publishing don't get publishing over that. You get what I'm saying? Or his rights or whoever who owns yeah, whoever it. Owns it's, those it's, it's a record whoever like this. I couldn't say this but look. This picture right here. Right? Yeah. You can't put this in a public place without paying Diana Ross. Got you. But what I'm saying <laughs> is this, this is all virgin territory. Right? I don't know what the ramifications or the word languages for mm -hmm. original vocals. But when it's computer generated, somebody has to be clever enough to say we can find a loophole until the music industry shifts. I'm looking at it like how Napster came in and all the downloading streaming services like um LimeWire was they're there. They're going through a fight, like Netflix and all that. They're going through a fight now. You know that, right? There's a whole writer's strike now yes, for, saw, because of streaming services. I didn't know that. Mm. Yeah, there's a whole writer's strike now. It's a big deal. Big deal. Whole right. They had to go into negotiations because of Netflix, Hulu, all yeah. these all these streaming services have to pay royalties on these fucking things because they're not getting uh residual checks like they used to do on TV. I, I understand to mm, me, right? That's the resi got you. The the thing about it mm -hmm. is, right, we are living in a time everything's moving faster than light. Okay. If you think about this, ten years ago. Instagram was just an app. You took pictures of cereal boxes and put a filter on. Within 10 years now, it's your business card, your resume, your, your, your also your Promotional vehicle. It's not what, what you don't agree with what he said. It's, I think so. Yes, it is. I think so. When you talk to people and they want to know, you know if what, you're the deal. You know, you know what your business card is? When they look in your bio. Yes. And see what you're doing. And then and then they go look and see who follows you. Ghost, you know what else? Then they go look yeah. and see who you follow, follow. who comment. It's Are your, your numbers real? It's your business card now. <laughs> you know what else it is? It's your second phone number. Yep. When you see a girl and you think she's going to be apprehensive, let Yo, me get your gram. Let me get your gram. Yep. Niggas do that. That's yes, what, that's, do that. but but I'm gonna tell you yes. because because you might be of a different mind state. Me because I'm married. I don't want to take a nigga number. I don't want to take a female yes. number. I will tell her follow me on the gram and DM me. That's what girls do. DM me and then they'll be like, oh, you I don't answer your DM. No, I, I understand do. Understand the concept. Yes, but mm -hmm. think about that. Took ten years though. Now, think about this. When email first came out, but can I interject something go, into go you and, and, and you and you finish? Yeah. I understand where you're coming from with the pictures and everything, but there's no previous work of art involved in the pictures. Now, if the if the cereal company could sue you for putting it up there, then we would have a, a similar thing. But we're talking about people taking people's voices, people taking people's works of art, mm -hmm. and then cashing it in. Got you. I, you know I, what I'm saying? I, I agree wholeheartedly. It's a it's an open loophole currently right now. There's lawsuits available. I don't know what the other side's going to be to defend because they're, there's a way to say it's not their voice. I don't know the language of it, but it's technically not their voice. This is the, Even though it is their voice. It's called, it's called, this is it, likeness. You get paid off of likeness. Now, in the music business term, you used to have two separate terms for using people's work of art. It's called the in, 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 interpolation, what was the old way, mm -hmm. and then there was a sample. Right. Yes. The, the interpolation, you could get away with it because it's technically you take the same song. You can't. I'm in a dispute right now with you two over interpolation. I'm about to tell you. I'm about Woo! to change it. No, so but it's, it's, they think. But, but sometimes they, it listen, goes. Sometimes no. They, they change. I'm about to tell you. They changed that. <laughs> when it's did not, they change it? Um, 
And I'm gonna tell you, I'm yeah. gonna tell you about four or five years ago, Faith right. Faith Newman at Reservoir Publishing has a hand in this. Okay, mm. and I'm gonna tell you why she does. Because if y'all remember, I I I, I, I want to stay on topic, but if 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 y'all remember the Pharrell and the Robin Thicke thing, yes, with Blur Marvin Gaye, that's yeah. what's happening. Right okay, now with Faith the- Newman is in the middle with that. She had she helped Marvin Gaye's estate because because they're collecting on that, right? So they're saying you cannot interpolate that. Everybody knows if you take that part of the song, that's Marvin Gaye shit. Whether you replay it or not, right? Mm-hmm. So now the now an uh, interpolation is the same as a sample. That's why you're having what about a problem. A cover? It's still you got to clear the cover. It's yeah. the same. It's it, a cover is fucking worse. <laughs> a cover is 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 worse because you're taking a beat, you're taking a lyric, and you're redoing the whole thing. I think, I think there's gonna be a, a division open up to handle this because. People really miss out on Tupac, Biggie Smalls. They want to hear new material from them. When they said, listen, when they said Pop Smoke no longer has any more music, all the young kids, you could see them, they were sad. Whatever their connection is. This AI shit, for the fact that Timberland takes Biggie's vocals and creates a whole new song, whether it sounds good or not, tells you, hey, I either wanted to do a song with Biggie or I'm such a fan, I want to hear a new he got paid. What you mean? He got paid to do this, y'all. You think so? Do by, I think so? By who? No, let's break Whoever it down. Whoever is behind a yard, the companies who's trying to push the narrative. What Ooh. do you do? You go to the people that can push the narrative. I told y'all at, a long time ago, Timberland is the third member of Rock Nation. People keep forgetting this shit. So when Rock so Nation Jay-Z was started. The no, listen. AI, when Rock Nation, I'm, I'm not saying Jay Z, but when <laughs> Rock Nation was started, Timberland was the third member. That's how important and significant he is to hip hop and music. So if you're gonna try to force it through anybody, you're gonna force it through a fucking legend. It's gonna be Timberland, Dr. Dre, Dr. Now you got me, mm-hmm. Dr. Dre, or one of them niggas. Because yeah. now, go ahead, finish, Puffy. Because yeah. now, now it's to the masses. Now we have to address it. If it's little niggas over there using AI, we don't who give a care fuck. exactly. But now Timberland's doing it. It's everywhere. You know bro. what you always say? Marketing and promotion is not meant to be seen. It's a, it's meant to be felt. felt. You're not supposed to know it's coming. coming. You're not supposed to see the marketing. It's just supposed to, you're supposed to feel like it occurred. Mm-hmm. So when you hear a song one billion times and you up to singing Macarena, you're like, why the fuck am I singing Macarena? And <laughs> that's how I'm looking at it. It's now they're going to interject it into the commonplace of society. They can't with the money. You have to figure out the money. The money. money. The money I think the money is already there. It's one-sided. How's the money there? When you say one-sided, tell me. It's only... They are making the money. Who's that? The the, the the artists and the people are not making the money. Currently. So, so the big companies, they are going to make the money. But this is what I'm here. saying. It goes back to when we had um, LimeWire and Napster. Yeah, they're making the money. Soon there's going to be a shift to figure it out. I'm looking ahead. I'm no, looking but at... this cre- is the opposite. Big companies have AI. It's not little companies. These are big... Co- Google. Yeah, so so, so why would you... Univer- no, I'll is. let you finish. No. But what I'm looking at, I'm look, what Esso said. Google's already in with Spotify, right. who's in cool. with fucking Amazon, who's in, like they're already in there. No, I can't. So you. if they want to fucking use it, they got the internet. No, but what Esso's saying though is, at the end of the day, somebody else is getting shafted, and just like he said, somebody got to get paid. Yeah, like he said with Faith Newman, how they flipped that whole thing with Marvin Gaye. Faith wasn't having it. Yes, someone is going to come and powerful. say, "I'm not having it." Listen, she's white. She's white, okay? That's the that's no, a no, big no. Play. She's white. <laughs> she's really hip hop. She put Nas on facts, okay? And she's worth a lot of money and well respected in this industry. So once one motherfucker, you know what, Pharrell and Robin Thick, y'all fucked with the wrong bitch. That's it. That wasn't the catalog to fuck with. When y'all knew Faith Newman or one of these motherfuckers that take this music and shit very seriously, we need you on the show, Faith. Yeah. When you know somebody's gonna take this show very, I mean, take this music very seriously, you don't fuck with them. 
you cop out. Mm-hmm. When you know they coming for your head, you put a call into Faith Newman and be like, yo, Faith, this, yo, this Marvin Gaye, it was a mistake. I didn't realize what I was doing. Yes. Let's work this out. You don't go in and be like, fuck it. Prove it. I get it because now you got to go. I get it on both sides. Okay, what? Yeah. Tell me I the get side. Faith side and I, I get Pharrell side. Tell me Pharrell side. It came out. Mm-hmm. It was doing numbers. It did all this numbers. I already spent the money. <laughs> I already spent the fucking money. I bought a yacht. I did all this shit. Mm-hmm. Now I got to go into this shit and I got to go back into my pocket. I'm going to tell you real shit. But they're not going to take it. But they're not going to. That's, like, that's not how it go. But at, that's not how it go. S will tell you. They're not going to They're not gonna go in and take the money directly from Pharrell. Uh-uh. It's channel. No, it's not, not, not in that way. But I'm yeah. saying, when you, let's, you don't clear a sample, mm-hmm. it makes millions. It makes millions. They coming for that millions, bro. The portion yeah. that they're supposed to have, yes, yeah, that they're supposed to have. Because to. because you still got yeah, the but right. But if they take, you you know okay. samples. Okay, I want hundred percent of the. Oh no, but listen, but but yeah. let me tell you what's worse. I got you, and you still fucking with me, right? I got you. You still fucking with me. Come holler at me. Yeah. Don't go on shit and act like I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Come holler at me. So we don't have to make this massacre bigger because technically the person who, the person who made the beat. This is why Robin Thicke. Robin Thicke remained loyal yeah. to fucking Pharrell. He could have said, "I ain't make the beat." But you gotta understand because at that you gotta understand Pharrell. If no. Marvin Gaye could come for me for this shit, James Brown could come from for some other shit too. But here's the thing: this person comes. There's the no, interpolation but, but no, of the same shit. It's the same shit with that. that Pharrell, first, first of all, it's the same shit stop, 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 stop. I don't get that. I'm, stop, I'm lost. Stop. And Esso knows this for Because he's done this no, okay. before with other Esso, records. Esso Joe, but you get clearance. The other you bro, get, the you get permission from and other you get people. get clearance. This is what I'm trying to yeah, tell you. He didn't get that. No, listen. If he what didn't I'm, get it for fucking Marvin Gaye. He didn't get no, it for the James No, 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 go. Hold on, hold on. Let's say what you're going to say. I'm going to tell you. And Esso said it. Sometimes niggas just do shit and say, I'm going to try to get away with it. Or they be like, you That's can't. That's it. Or, or wait, time out. Yo, wait, time out. This is the number one producer shit. <laughs> they not going to be able to hear it. Thank you. That's the number. Yo. Yo, bro. But I'm dead. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is the number one producer shit. I've known that. They not going to hear not that, gonna shit. Catch that shit. Yo, we go. Yo, what did they say in the studio? S, I'm going to chop it up so the much. Only, the yeah. only one, the only record that I could say that everybody knew what the record was and we still can't figure out why they didn't clear the sample was Deja Vu by Lord Tariq and Peter Guns. Yeah. They're the only record that niggas will say, bro. Bro, this is Steely Dan, bro. Like, yeah. clear these motherfuckers. They're white, and they don't play. They like Prince with their shit. They don't want you sampling their shit. This is not the record to use, bro. You know what I'm saying? They the only ones in my whole career yeah. that I could say I heard it, I understand it. Why you didn't clear that? Now, the Marvin Gaye shit, I didn't know what it was. Yeah. I'm going to keep it real. Nah, niggas, when you hear it, you be like, yeah. Niggas know when you listen to the melody. I'm talking about off the raw ear sound. When I first heard the record, I was like, "Oh, Blurred Lines is out of here." Shit, let when me. niggas started saying Marvin Gaye, then they hit me to it. I had to listen, and I'd be like, "I was like, that nigga Pharrell, ill, ill." ill. He's ill. I said that nigga ill, Ill, and right. I said, "But why would he hide it when he got all that money already?" It was just like what you said with Rock and Christina. You see how that that sample? But Rock and Christina, they already knew about the sample. It was Rock and Christina sample was no you. No, but Rock is same as interpolation now. Yes. Rock, same as shit. <laughs> same shit. Same shit. Rock, it's the difference, same, the difference yes, it is, goes. is by the word of the law. Yes, it by is. By the word of the law, <laughs> it's the same fucking the thing. The is an now. outlaw. He does not believe but in verbiage. I forgot what I was going to say. I, I understand where they're Christi- coming from, but as a person of art, that shit is fucked up, bro. As a That's person, your problem. Wait, as an art nigga. As a person of business, yes, it's not yes. fucked up. <laughs> Period. But the <laughs> interpolation, <laughs> what I was saying with, with Rock with, and Christina. With, the difference between Rock and Christina is the sample was acknowledged. So say you put the sample clearance in. And they say, okay, yeah, this is Christina. We want 30% of the record. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. Christina was like, I ain't giving my 30% up. <laughs> Just like that. She never did. I don't, yo, I'm going to be Why honest with did? you. What was her reason? I'm a, Some people just don't want to do it. No, she's artsy. It, 
artsy. Oh. Uh, yo, 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 yes. bro. I agree. Yo, yo I, it keeps, I'm an yo, artsy nigga. Yeah. artsy too, though. No, no. Talk no, about being this, this, this way. Let me explain <laughs> this side of it. Because I've been with R&B people who write and do all this other type yes. of stuff. This is different. I didn't sample that. You made the beat, Rock. There you go. You made the beat. If you would have gave me a beat with no sample, guess what? I, I can't just like 15, 15. If you would have no. given, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. Some people will. I'm fucking Christina. You're not building me. I'm already genie in the bottle. I'm already out of here, nigga. You being on this single is gonna be a big deal. And let me tell you why. Let me tell. Let me explain to you why. And I'm gonna be. And I'm gonna keep it real. When the money came down, it didn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. Yo, you how much money they need? 90,000? Rock, how much you supposed to get? 270,000? Give them the 90. What was that Christina, check? Christina, Christina, everything is solved. <laughs> what, was that, what was that check like for you, S.O., off that song? When you pulled it, was I, it a good? I, I, to be honest it? with you, that was lucky money for me. I wasn't managing Rock when he did Dirty. So, the, so, the, so. What do you mean loyalty money? No, that was. That was love for me. I was lucky. Love money. Okay, because love money. the manager who he had prior, they, he just walked away. And he didn't close out no business because they, they wasn't getting along. So they had differences. So instead of tight, instead of saying, yo, I'm not, we, right, I'm, not, I'm not working with you, but let's close out on all our business. Mm -hmm. Because he's supposed to get those royalties moving forward. You got me? Yeah. So course, it was his loss to not close out on, on the business, but he might have been like, I don't want to deal. I don't want to help this motherfucker because I'm, I'm not cool with him no more, and I got my own money because he was still managing Red and Meth the Man, mm. his old manager. His old manager had Red, Meth, EPMD, and Rock Wilder, nigga. <laughs> he was running the show. When they did How High and all that, he was changed. managing Red and Meth, and Rock did the scoring for oh How High. God. Here's what niggas don't know. That's three separate checks. Rock got... Niggas, Rock. No, it's on the thing. Huh? No, but I'm just if you're into the into the thing. But people don't even know Rock Wilder scored a movie, let alone he scored how high. Mm -hmm. They don't know that that scoring of a movie was probably. I think he told me I, I, I wasn't involved. I think it was upward of like three hundred grand just to go out there and have fun with his niggas. And if anybody know Red Man Method Man is his niggas. Okay. Yeah. I mean, hey. It's supposed to, it's, it's like the promotion. After the scoring's done, it's supposed to feel like it's easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, scoring movies it would be dope. I, I actually urge Rock to try to get more into scoring movies, but you need an agent and all that. You know what else I think it would be dope to score? A video game? Yeah. Who do? Which knowledge? Is that the dude that I met? I never met knowledge. Was knowledge from my expert? Oh, another one. Never know. Okay. I don't know. It's mad knowledge. Niggas, niggas. don't knowledge. Shout out to knowledge. You got knowledge born from belly? <laughs> <laughs> I was just no worries with Anderson. <coughs> oh, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, from that, from, but yeah, with the sampling of the voice or the computer generated voice, I'm just looking ahead to see how it's going to play out. Cause it's, it's money, yo. It's yeah. money there. Yeah. But they have to figure out, they have to figure out the beat structure, if you got Timbaland making the beat, then you know you got 50% of the beat. That's easy. But then the, the, the who's who's putting the lyrics? Is it just a computer? Are we paying the computer? Who owns the computer? The, the computer company? Is the, Are is you the, paying Google? Is the computer company licensed with Universal? Is it, see, remember, because if they, if they get with a label, the first label to figure this out is going to be rich. Rich, it's out of here. But you got to figure it out. You got to get your artists like like but the labels have the AI companies already. We talked about this. Uh, yeah, but you still got to have the consent from the artists. Yeah. See, that's the that's the diff that's the difference. And like when we talked to Juice, Juice was like, "Hell no," you know yeah. what I'm saying? It all depends on what style of singer you are. And then y'all didn't tell me. I've knew, this I, is what I wanted to do. Y'all didn't mad. tell me. I, he's about to. I know what you Grimes, Grimes is Elon. Is Musk. Elon Musk's girl or wife? Come, that's the most significant part. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> when niggas told me, they was like, oh, oh, Circuit told me. Circuit was like, oh, yeah, that's 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 son wife. I, right. I saw your episode. I said, whose wife? Elon Musk. I said, Grimes is Elon Musk's wife. No wonder she's saying, use my voice. He told her to do it. Yeah. 
It's all a ploy. Yeah, you, you. He's they pushing the narrative. Yeah, Elon hates AI. He hates it. He does. Yeah, yeah he does. So, so why would his? He's saying it's the end of because humanity. women don't listen to their husbands. As so, he has no. He knows it's inevitable. I know it's but inevitable. But he's saying he doesn't. Like, he doesn't like because can, it's I, the end of can I raise my hand? Because I feel the same way. Has anybody seen Terminator Two: Judgment Day? I watched all the Terminator. Yes, Death when all Google. the computers took over the world. No, Google is why we are setting them. Terminator why? is not. A, a thing about machine. It's a time travel movie. That's what people get it fucked Yo, up. Yo, go stop that. It is. I understand. But that. the movie was about the, the computers, computers taking over the earth. earth. The movie's about time travel. That you, everybody's ghost. looking at the movie wrong. Ghost, don't do that. Don't it do that. It is. Don't do nah, that. Ghost. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not it saying is. time. It ain't travel. all about time travel. Come on now. Time, time travel it's is a significant movie. part. The whole movie is because of time travel. So what's Skynet? No. The, the so premise. what's Skynet? Is Skynet? Is Amazon? It, is, it, wait, is it Google? Is it is it, is it, a, uh, is it a coincidence that all this shit we saw in this movie is going on now on Earth? So are we in the past and, and, they, and they traveling back to us? No. Technically, you, gotta, you can't travel in the watched, past. You can I only go watched, in the future based on physics. No. Yes. I just watched... All the Terminators yesterday. Okay. Because I'm I was reliving. I, I, wa- I watched ter- up to Terminator Four Five yesterday. Okay. I watched all of them. It's about time travel, bro. It's I not agree. about the machines and shit. I feel like it's, it's about computers. Some bullshit. It's about computers. It has to me. nothing. It really has nothing to do with computers. So what? The so computers is just the problem. That, the real no. shit is a fucking time travel. Yeah, but the computers are. Now, artificial intelligence. No, but is, what's the premise of the movie? You gotta understand the premise of the movie. They're trying to kill somebody. I don't that's feel like the premise enemy. of the movie is time that's travel. That's their enemy, John Who's Connor's their enemy. But John, why? But why? Because he's trying to stop the machines. Well, do you know who John Connor is? Yes. He's supposed to so never even be born. Yes. I the know. reason why he's born is because somebody traveled to the past. And fucked and it up. Fucked it up. Had sex the dude, with the original Sarah dude, Connor. the original dude had sex with Sarah Connor. All right, so Kyle they, Reese. I know that story. Was sent by John right. Connor, which is a ghost, mind fuck. Ghost. But how? Because John Connor's supposed no, to have never no, been ghost. born. It's a time travel movie. That's ghost. Why. Guess what that's called? So he said, "Go back and kill me. Go back and make no, sure I'm, I'm never born." No, so there's go no matter. back. They're here trying to stop the computers, but the reason why they're there is because of the computers. Guess what it is? It's a fucking time travel. No, it's it's the chicken and the egg, which came first. Yep. It's a loop. I it's agree. It's a loop that can't be broken. Me and this nigga don't agree, but I definitely That's agree with him on this one. Yeah. That's all it is. It's a loop. And mm-hmm. these robots, think about it now. Soon. Who came first, the computer or John Connor? Is that what y'all saying? Yeah. Who came first, the computer? And That's we'll, a question. And we'll never know. Think about that. But let me show you something. I posted a video of a cell phone in the 80s. It cost about $1,000. That shit was half of this. Mm-hmm. Now a phone is what? $1,000? Yeah, but it's this size. <laughs> but the <laughs> phone was like <laughs> this. It was like a block. Yeah, I know. And you had to carry it around the bag. Mm-hmm. You had to open the bag. I, so, I, I remember seeing niggas on the bus with a, with a fucking Yeah, phone. this shit was crazy. And so when I'm looking at technology, and the thing we always... You know, fighting for is to live longer. People want to live for as long as they can. That's a human evolutionary thing within us. Nobody just says, even if you try to suicide yourself, your body will try to mentally stop you. Some people will accomplish it, some don't. So when I'm looking at technology and what's going on, I'm looking ahead. Evolutionary. Just like when you spoke about, when we spoke about on YouTube, you didn't think YouTube was going to go where it went. Mm-hmm. At the time, because of how you were making money in the music industry. Mm-hmm. With your genius and your understanding, I'd be like, yo, S, where do you think this shit's going to jump ahead? Because you've survived multiple shifts in the industry. Mm-hmm. Niggas are gone. So mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, where's this AI shit going to go? you even looking at it wrong now. What do you mean, Ghost? Even YouTube, you looking at it as an entertainment. No, I look at it as television. That's when I spoke it's about not it. not that. What is it? Google is a search engine. For videos of of knowledge, that's how people are going to learn. So YouTube is a library, is what you're saying? Yes, it's a whole library. There's no more libraries. No libraries. Are so you fun. go on YouTube. There's no more libraries. Can it, can it so be, you go on Google. This Google yeah. is part of YouTube. It's cool. the same can shit. it be I'm, a li- can it be a library and a television? Because no. if we look on, because I'm, I'm just television saying, is if absolute, we look on, no, no, okay, no, if we the, look on cable, cable right, yes. and you go on. On, on demand. It's yeah. a library of shit up there, and mm-hmm. I can search mad shit, but that's TV. TV. Uh-huh. So can it be a library and television? Your television is not even a television anymore. It's a computer. 
It's not a t- TV anymore. It's a storage you don't cut port it on to me. And it doesn't get a signal to fucking. Pro- no, it hits the internet now. There's no more cable boxes. There's no like people are misinterpreting what's going on. Mm-hmm. It's a computer on your wall now. It's not a fucking TV anymore. TV is no, like a no, radio. So it's a computer with a big screen that can show visual. Is that what you're saying? But what I'm it's saying a big is monitor. It, a big and monitor. They, they don't even call it TVs anymore. They but, call it monitors. But think about how YouTube even developed in 10 years. It used to be two, 280, right? Now we're talking about 16K. No longer do you have the privilege or the just the we're about to just throw dirty audio, dirty footage. It has to be clean. It has to be polished. And if it isn't, no, no, if it, no, 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 no. If it isn't, YouTube will push you down the algorithm. No, that's not true. But do we know? But let me say this. Let that's me, not true. Can I say this? All right. Let me say this. Let's go for it. And I, and this is no, kind of on the I know topic. Where you're going for it. We just taught you. You just called me and said, "Yo, I don't know how this shit is running because Bimmy said some wild shit." And our money was up, and it was cool. You, the gumbo, gumbo people were smoked smoking. on camera and that, that from the beginning. Through. It went through the roof. It was cool. They controlled the shit. All the, this is what I'm saying. All these things are supposed that, That's what I'm trying to tell you, huh? We just talked about this because all of these things are typical things that you thought was against the rules. We don't fucking know. They let whatever fly that they want fly, though. So pretty much it's favoritism. TikTok squealed on everybody. No, no, TikTok no, no, squealed. no. I'm, I'm we're not doing, disagreeing we're with you. We're trying to do a deal with people, right? I'm not gonna say their name because they're in cahoots with the with the power. That's it. And if they're in cahoots with the power, Open they the said floodgates. we can help you do make more money. And it's gonna and work. I, and That's I want I said, and I want a piece of your money so we could do this. They're gonna take a piece. Y'all they're gonna take a piece, it, but they're with in it. with they're in with the powers that be. TikTok. TikTok laid it out the bag when they say we can control who go and who Yeah, so we can it, control it. It's all about favoritism. Of course. No, I'm not. I'm not mad at it. I'm saying that for not only the ninety percent, but for the ten percent who know already. Now it's just like high school. Who can you get in pocket with? Who has the money? Who has like the pocket? I understand, but some people, real shit ghosts, artsy people will always believe if I do this the right way, I create the art the that's right way, fact. it's going to get RT broken people, and they're going to find me. And that's well, not the play, well, ghosts. Artsy people know when somebody, that's why they say a thing called selling out. They know when somebody's nah, sold out. They do. No ghosts. They do. No ghosts. Guess what? Every successful artist then, they would have said sold out. They do. No, 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 no. When Wu Tang was busting through, it's a sold out. What are you talking no, about? No, 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 no. They just sold his shit no. to the fucking MoMA and all these niggas. No, the fucking, that's later the, on. That's later on. That's still to art niggas is selling out. Why you ain't on the block Yo, with the fucking Wu? Ghost. They want them. Ghost. I'm Why? Because they were. I'm too old. Wait, tell me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is how niggas think. But okay, no, but, no, they, but, they, but they thinking wrong. I'm too. Crazy? Yo, yo. He was chilling with fucking. Are you? Niggas think they sold out, bro. No, what I'm saying is You're crazy. I'm going back to the terminology. When Esso spoke about you love him, right? The reason why that thing hits so close to home is he opened up Pandora's box of we were manipulated or we were focused and driven to liking a song. Y'all and y'all did not y'all know. Did not know. So now <laughs> artsy people who've always felt I'm gonna meet an A and R. They wrong as fuck. I'm gonna do my music the right way. They wrong as fuck. That's why it fucked with them. (laughs) So knowing that, you're gonna say this nigga sold out. Let me tell you something. Go for it. Me and The Weeknd used to email each other because nobody knew his face. Nobody knew who he was. Got you. I'm I was so infatuated with this nigga's music. I said, yo, this shit is so fire. Uh, me too. I love the way okay. he sold. I know the day he sold the fuck out. When he what showed his face. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What day when, he sold when, out? When he sold out? Just, just. No, do, no, don't do that, No, ghost. no, no. What do you consider? Let's be it's clear. Not, I'm yes. not saying it in a Let, negative way. But, let, but let's, let's be clear. clear. Go for it. What do you consider selling out? out? When you no longer say, fuck the base that I started with, I'm going here. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's nothing problem. It's, there's people today that are pissed off at the weekend because he is where he is. Can, can, I, can, I, goes, can I ask him a question? I'm going to say fuck can you. I ask him I'm going to tell you real shit. Fuck can, you. Yeah, can I ask Ghost a question? You, and not literally, but... Why did the week... The week same thing with her. I don't want... Same thing with no, her. No, go, her go, go, go. Let him go, let him go, let him go. No, get, get, get your question off first. What about this key word called evolution? Yes. He's no, no, wait, wait, time I'm out. I'm not saying it in a negative way, No, 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 wait, time out. You're calling evolution... 
Selling, selling out. out. That's what these niggas is talking nah, about. Nah, they're Yo. wrong. We're ghosts. They're wrong. Ghost. That's the art no. thing that he's talking no, about. No, no, no. Since, how about you? You sold out to the people you... I'm the no, sellout. No, no, no. Let's stop there. Let's, no. I'm a sellout. No, 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 no. If niggas want to... Why are they saying he's selling out? I'm selling out, I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I'm going to tell you You're why. You're wrong, bro. Don't talk to me, <laughs> I've been in Atlantic. I've been in all these fucking buildings. He's selling out. I'm going to sell out, nigga. Yo, go <laughs> to you can call me a two. Yo, Fuck the, na- the name of this episode is selling out, yo. But what I'm saying is... I'm not with, with the shit you... What you telling these niggas. I'm not with that. I'm with the weekend, nigga. I'm with you. Let's sell out, nigga. Oh, no, no. Because I'm because with this improvement of technology. You didn't stay true to your core, your base when you was creating content however you first started out versus to what building up is now. You're doing it. You're doing it. Growth, you're you're doing it better. Growth. You evolved. You, you can be like the dirty other dudes that be like, I'm stuck in this. This is how it's supposed to be. Yes. I want it to be like this. But Ghost says, you know what? I need to be better. Let me tell you something, Ghost. What, what, what do you I need to be better. I'm buying better shit. I'm doing more What's sound. Doing? I'm going further. I'm doing this. I'm fucking with them. I'm, yo, they're paying us for eight bar. I'm evolving. Ghost. There's nothing wrong. That's not selling out. That's let me, evolving. Let me show you the beauty but of this. Thing is selling out. No, no, no. Let me show you the beauty of this. When we go to events, Ghost used to be like, what's wrong with that rapper? Why is he upset? Now Ghost be like, oh, he's broke. <laughs> His budget. He's fucked. evolved. He he's evolved. evolved. Exactly. Yes. He didn't and sell out. He he knows more. Yes. And he's like, so so <laughs> what the weekend said was, how can I build on Space Ghost? Ghost. Mm. Space Ghost likes me because although Space Ghost thinks that the weekend still's out, he fucks with the weekend still. Still. I know. I'm you fuck with the weekend, though, right? I know. I'm not saying out. you. I'm not. Period. Yo, I don't think you. Let me be clear. I'm not that artsy. Let me be clear. <laughs> I don't think you're mad. I'm not no, saying not it. All. I'm not saying it like you're mad. What I'm making a point about it is, you still fuck with him, and you were there with him from the beginning. Mm-hmm. You fucking with his evolving, journey, yes, with his journey. Mm-hmm. Everybody can't go. This is this is the thing I, I, I talk to my man about all, all the, the time. time. Everybody can't go. So if you're not gonna follow me on on my journey and grow up with me and evolve with me. Then you have to stay back there and you like the old weekend. Skedaddle. But if you wanna come and you wanna evolve with me and do greater things, because that weekend that you heard wasn't exposed to life. That weekend that you heard didn't have money. That weekend that you heard di- couldn't record with anybody in this world that he might have wanted to record with. And so I have yes. to do it. So I have to do it like this to build my fan base, but this isn't all that I wanna do. I have to evolve. And that's all it is. So when creatives say you're selling out, selling out is not making money. Selling out is saying I'm going dead set against my principles. Mm. I'm a Black Panther and I marry a white woman. That's selling out. That's selling out. That's a sellout. Stop. Yes. What are you talking Think about? about? It. If you listen to The Weeknd's lyrics on Low Life with Future, you can tell his life, he been living different with experiences. You understand what I'm saying? He's grow, he grew, he grew up. up. Just like when Jay-Z became president of Def Jam, he's like, I. Right, we called it corporate rapping. Yo, we not getting none of the hard not life no more. That was That's done. fucking dead. I'm in the air. That I don't hear you corny raps. There you go. I don't hear your corny, corny raps. raps. I was like, oh. But when he was out here being the hope everybody wanted, Hope was like, who's rapping? Yeah. What? What? This nigga? Yeah. Put it on. Now Hov is like, I don't I don't need to compete with niggas. Yeah. I, I am Black who I Republic, am. Black Republican. Black Republican. I am who I am. Yes. And you know what? This is what I want to do. I'm grown. I'm a grown man yeah. now. So SO, if you want the hard not life, Jay-Z, stay over there. Go listen. This he's still living. Yeah. He's I think, st- I think, hold on, my bad. Uh, yeah, it's all good. I think our <laughs> artists today are selling selling out quote unquote. Mm-hmm. A little too fast. What no, do you call not. a What do they you call have... a sellout, Ghost? <laughs> Star Lips' next record is going to tell you what a sellout is. Do you want to be a sellout or... There's nothing oh, wrong. No, 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 no. You, did did you hear it? No, did no, you hear no, it? I don't have to hear it to She know. don't have to sell out. She could come hard. Pause. Yes. Pause. But she Ice could... Spice, technically... She surprised me. <laughs> She's a sellout. She came the way she, she still do. No, let me say this. Tell I didn't you. know. I did not think Ice Spice was going to jump off like this. Ice Spice. Okay? She was going to have lasting power. No, no, no. I thought she Ice was going to jump off. Ice Spice and Scarlet went to the Met Gala. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
You know that's, why? That's, no, that's, no, 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 no. You no, no. Your way Cardi B go to the Met Gala. She's still hood. No. She's no. still hood. He's talking about Cardi the speed. The, the yeah. speed of how they did it. It the, took Cardi a minute to get to the Met it? Gala. Yeah. He's like, he's Cardi so, B worked her way to the Met Gala. But, 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 Ghost. Can, but, Ghost. Say that. But, Ghost, here's the thing. Ice Spice and Scarlet have people like myself, yourself, and Esso in their corner to say, bitch, this is I'm the, no, listen. No, no, no. This is the blueprint. I can show you 30 years of all the girls that came before you and didn't do these things, and this is how they went broke. This is what they did to start sucking dick. But do you all right? But for for money. But wait, do you think that they are blowing their shit too quickly? No. What you mean blowing? What you mean blowing up too fast? You mean blowing up too fast? No. Wait, wait. wait, I could. I could say. I could. Now I'm agree with him Mm -mm. because 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 think about this when I spoke about the Lola Brook thing. Remember when I said I'm think scared? About designer. No, no. Uh, think yeah, think mm-hmm. about this. I said I'm Let's scared. Go for it. I said I'm scared for for Lola. Why, bro. why were you scared? Why, because Break I said down. I know why. Because we met Lola. She is way cooler than I thought yeah. she was going to be. And She's person. a hard fucking worker. But the she one want to win. But the one thing I said was when you shoot to that top so fucking fast, you don't get a chance to build a foundation. See, local artists, local artists. That's what Lola was. Not independent. She was local. Local artists think that you're going to take that with you, mm-hmm. that that's your foundation. I've been putting out records locally and putting them on iTunes, and I had 60,000 people, 70,000 people following me, and I was streaming, okay, you're mm-hmm. local, mm-hmm. right? So when you come out with Don't Play With It, a lot of people, I'm in New York, and I knew about Lola from yeah. performing at Just Up. Yes. Don't Play With It is the first record I ever heard from Lola Brooke. Here's the thing with this, right? And I agree with you. Let's go back. No, no. Let's go back to how the music industry was. And you've always said this. The the way you win is by preparation and anticipation. Yeah, definitely. So when you're building a star, you already said, we needed three bangers. Three bangers already set up. You know, you get artist development, all of that. Now we just seen a post that says labels want you. Gilly just said now it's all about having your numbers. Jim Jones said it. Now, the problem is, when these artists have the numbers, they'll have one song. They're not prepared to have three or four bangers now. They're not the label. Okay, let me let, me let yeah. you finish. I'm sorry. No, I'm just, I, I, that's, they're not prepared for that. So when you shoot up to number one, what's next now? Because we have the hunger. We have the appetite to really immerse ourselves with you, this artist. Okay, you know what we're doing at the label? Even if you don't have the record, mm-hmm. I'm going to trust you to get it. Because what am I supposed to do? That's dangerous. Wait, wait, no. That's, okay, okay, wow, okay. Wow. What's, what's more dangerous? What's more dangerous? I hold on to this record that it could not, it could not work. Do you want to look? And, and they could make it work now. Do you want to look? Can they really make it I'm work? I'm not going to say on camera about making it work. They it's, can make it work. They make they made some bullshit work. So. I don't, yo. Not every bullshit Yo, listen, gonna I'm going to be, I'm, 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 I'm going to keep it real. Scarlet coming out right now is <laughs> it's damaging Lola Brooke. Yes. A lot of girls. It's damaging because. I don't see they're the same yo, thing. she's gonna damage. They don't. Yo, listen. No, nigga, I'm gonna tell you why they're the same. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. They on the same label. They on the same label. But but that's not even it. That could work for them. Yeah. That that they need to do a record no, together. And not even a record. They can go out and tour, tour together. So that can work for them. That's actually a positive to bring them all together. But the reason why I'm saying about the Lola Brook, and if we're talking about it. Everybody's talking about. Everybody was talking about Lola Brook, Lola Brook, Lola Brook, Lola Brook, Lola Brook, Lola Brook, Lola Brook. Now she hit number one, and now everybody's talking about Scarlet, 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 and they're gonna keep doing this until the labels have to push your second and third record. Mm -hmm. Your production company has to have a discretionary fund to push your records. See, it's in the label's best interest not to have Lola Brooke proud of for a project. Y'all do know that, right? Yeah. Because the record label executive told us to our face, one single, not an album, keeps the lights on at all the labels. So why because put they, out an album? Because they yeah. got the back end of the yeah, streaming yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. Y'all really only getting 21%. But if, if that much. So think about Drake's 21%. Think about how much, how rich Drake is rich as a MF. They talk about all his streaming. He breaks streaming records, right? And his money's lit. He's only getting 21%. So that's 79%. <laughs> what is that number like? He's only getting 21%. 
79%. And I'm going to say this on camera. Before Gunner got locked up, we saw a dude that was with Gunner, right? Remember at the thing? Gunner saw me say that. And Gunner called the label and said, is this nigga accurate about the 19%? They was like, no, it's 21. <laughs> said, so this nigga's right. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. He said that this nigga's right. So when people are, when people fighting, I don't even know what where the money's again. going. Yeah. It's, it's like what I told you about the publishing ghost. Yeah. When you have a publishing company, the song split is 200%. But if you don't have no company, the song split is 100%. So say if we're naturally just saying, me, ghost, and high, none of us got a company. Where's the other 100% going? Not in our pockets. Where does it come from? I've been in the game for 20 years, and I don't even know where the other 100% comes from. How can something be worth 200%? Is it 100% the max, y'all? It's 1,000%. Can we go? I mean, I'm just saying, like, where do we go <laughs> past 100%? What, when is 200% the bar when it comes to music business, when it comes to this entertainment world, and when it comes to rocking niggas for their money? That's where that comes from. Because we're not going to know. Nobody's going to ask questions. E even when I get a check for my other percent, I don't call nobody and ask why I'm Yo, getting you know this who, money. You know who, <laughs> who asks questions when they get money? Ghost. This nigga. He be like, what's this for? I'm not mad. No, no. To, for information is... Han, if you know things, then you then you just get peace of mind. It's but but, but Ghost bro. gave a little tidbit on why he was apprehensive. He, he really said that he doesn't want to feel like he's being bought for future, you know, works or favors. You know how sometimes niggas... So you don't want the money? No, 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 no. no. I'll keep it. No, no, no. What he's saying, you know, it's almost like... I'll keep it. I, I, told, I told Ghost... They, they, they got paid me. What, yeah. What's Ghost in philosophy? He don't want to be what? Yeah, he, he wants to know where the money's come from. No, no, he, but he doesn't want to be what because he, of the money? He doesn't want to be bought out for Buy me the loyalty. fuck out, nigga. <laughs> Buying out means you sold He me. said he's cool with being sold out, selling out. I'm cool with being bought the fuck out, okay? <laughs> Buy me out. That's a hundred percent fact. I ain't even worried about it. Go send me some money. I ain't asking no more fucking questions. I just like okay. My, cool. my question is: Is this my fair cut? Yes, I don't give a fuck, fuck, nigga. Yeah. Like, like, oh, it's eight thousand. Whoa. Okay. Am I supposed to get eight thousand? Okay. Yo, great. esso has been sending me money for years. I never asked where this shit comes from. He'll just be like, "There's gonna be a date and time. You just need to be." Sometimes a date you. and time. See, see. The, <laughs> Yo, I send invoices out. And shit. See, but the like, problem that, with Ghost is, but the problem with Ghost is. Ghost hasn't worked with me as long as you have. That's true. right. I've gotten checks that we never had to work for. Yo, we got niggas, niggas we have got paid me an event check for three interviews we didn't do, Yo, and they never. I've gotten the interscope. I've gotten Yo. checks from dudes <laughs> that paid me in advance, and Heineken was like, "What's this money?" For? I said, "Yo, we gonna have, have to do it later." And then it comes up. He's like, "Yo, what happened to?" It? I said, "They ain't called me back. What the fuck am I supposed to call them and ask them if they want their money?" <laughs> no, your and money's wait, wait, gone. Wait, what did I said when you told me that. I forgot what you said. Nothing. Nothing. No, 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 I need to know sometimes so I know for my papers. Because I work as a business. I am a business. That's fair. So I write shit off. None of the no, money no. I give you is write off money. No, it's not. <laughs> Ooh, you sound creative and you whoa, sound whoa, whoa, like a whoa. business. How are you writing off the money? LLC, nigga. I'm not a person. You're not sending okay, to the Okay, listen. You're sending uh, to let me give you a lesson. Yeah, let me give you a lesson in, in front of the government. Okay? <laughs> they don't know what the fuck I'm giving you. No, they fucking don't. Well, the no, but it's no, <laughs> it's no reason. Oh, man, niggas is crazy. It's no it's reason. Cash in my hand is the story. That's all I've been giving you. No, no. you said cash apps and stuff. Yeah, you did. Cash app and them, yo, bro, it gotta be, yo, bro. Listen, those get monitored. Bro. I got an accounting degree. Okay, I have an accounting degree. You know how much money I gotta send you over cash app for you to have to um report it over a year of money that you're sending. I have to send you a dollar amount. Do you know what the dollar amount is? Seven thousand. Seven thousand. Yeah. I think it's seven thousand. Seven thousand. For my budget, I gotta write off even if it's a fucking dollar. I'm writing it off. Well, I'm telling you. So, so I'm telling you, like I'm gonna tell the rest of the world, you're not paying the government. You're paying the Federal Reserve, which is the seven families, and you're just giving them your fucking money because I don't it, give them because shit, I write it off. because if the <laughs> you don't listen to what I'm saying, I could do a deal right now, right, and I could get cash for it. And I could give y'all niggas the cash, right? It's different. I, that's hey, the same I'm thing. I'm with all that. Okay. <laughs> Even if I cash app you, right? You know who has to report that? Me. I I have to. 
I have to report it and I have to say I gave this man the money and then you have to report it. Until I do that, you don't have to do shit. No, I know. What you listen, would be doing listen, is listen. what? What you gonna say? What Ghost is doing is what I used to do when I used to have a regular I job. Donald no, Trump this shit. No, no, no. So no. I'm gonna just no, tell no, you no, straight listen, up. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I was getting back from taxes. I, you know, I ain't got no kid. I was getting back like eight, nine thousand. Real shit off the That's LLC. A nice penny back yes, it was. It would be for my car tires, gas expense, food, meters. I was writing all that. You shit. You can do all of that without involving cash. What are y'all talking about? Y'all sound crazy. Yo, but y'all don't even understand this. But you talking about in, I'm talking about income coming in. If it coming into an account, it has to be accounted. Bro, for. bro, bro. I'm gonna cut this camera off and tell y'all because y'all don't know. <laughs> Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Yo, I'm not I, even saying this listen. on camera. What y'all are saying makes no sense. And oh, I'm not going to say right. it. I'm not going to say it on camera. <laughs> when we get off a of camera, I will explain it to y'all. <laughs> but what y'all are doing, because 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 this is what you're doing. You know how I say you're thinking like a content person, now you're thinking like a worker. No. You're not thinking, you're not thinking like an entrepreneur. I'm telling you, because I what y'all... You are. Because, because, no. Because what you Entrepreneurs, we really... We rarely get tax returns. I was getting tax returns. Okay, yeah, I'm, because you're right. It's, it's not a tax you're return. A, you're it's a, a refund. It's a refund for, for Listen, expenses. Listen, you have to do your tax return to get expenses, right? Yes. Entrepreneurs, we don't get returns. Do you know why? Do you know why we don't get returns? Because you make money. Because we write everything off from the beginning. Yes. So anything, all right then. So when Ghost gives if me- your expenses is higher than income, you get a check. But, yes. Right? See the thing is, I was do. I was reporting it as a loss. That's why I said the reason why you don't get it is you if make money. If you make, if you claim a lot of money, money and your expenses exceed it, you get a refund. Refund, back, bro. I got you. Now let me ask you a question. What's your benefit of having a, a job? Okay, because y'all talking crazy. <laughs> y'all 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 y'all, y'all talking crazy. Yo, what's the benefit of you have, having a job and I'm giving you cash and you report it? What's the benefit? Cash is no, different. No. Cash app. Listen, no. if cash I don't. App is not cash, bro. It goes into an account. Yes. Cut the camera off. <laughs> Cut the camera off. Backfield. Cut the camera off. It's just over. Cut it off.